Hey there, welcome to the channel. My name is Jakob. In this channel, I want to teach you professional coding practices. I've seen a few cloud developers struggling with debugging their Kubernetes services. They might add logging to their service, deploy their code to their cluster, and try to see if they find what the problem is. I might need to repeat this pattern a few times to figure out the root cause. So this takes a lot of time, and yes, there is a better way. So run your service locally and swap it for a service inside the cluster. In this video, I want to teach you how to do that with a tool called Telepresence. Here is an overview of this video. I'm going to introduce you to the demo project. I'm going to show you how to install Telepresence. I'm going to show you how to debug a simple service. I'm going to show you how to debug another service with environment variables. And then I'm going to talk about a few tips and tricks you might apply. The demo project is a simple Kubernetes service. Nginx sits at the front that intercepts uh, the request from the user and it's forwarded to uh, either the front end or the API. And then the API communicates with a MongoDB database. So in this video, we're going to see how to debug the front end and the API. Let's take a quick look at my project. I've already deployed it to the cluster. So it has four pods, API, Frontend, Mongo Express, and MongoDB, and it's exposed on Ingress. So here is the IP address, let's check it out. It's a simple web page where you can guess a name of a child. So cute with a K. So yeah, this is the application. Telepresence has a really nice website. It has all sorts of instructions and helpful material. If you follow the installation instructions, it should be rather straightforward to set up on any operating system. I've tried it on a few without a problem. After you set it up, you simply go to your terminal to do Telepresence Connect. What Telepresence does then, it installs a sidecar in your cluster, so you're able to communicate with your cluster. Then you can do Telepresence list to see all the services within the cluster that you're able to intercept or connect to. I've already set up Telepresence on my Mac. It was just two steps. Brew install followed by chmod. And then you should basically be able to open up your terminal, do Telepresence connect. You might need to type in your password here. And then you can do telepresence list to see the services inside your cluster that you're able to connect to. So see, now uh, these four services are ready to intercept traffic. So to debug a simple service, service without any configuration or environment variables, you simply open up your terminal, do telepresence intercept, the name of the service, followed by the port where the service is, is exposed inside the cluster. So let's try it out. We open up a terminal, do telepresence intercept frontend, and port number is 3001. So now it's uh, intercepted, and we can verify by doing tele list you can see it's the only service that's intercepting so if we refresh our web page it should not actually work and that's because our cluster is now trying to talk to our local machine and we don't have anything running locally so if you run npm run dev then we should fix that by having something running locally and here's the development like environment with hot reload and everything and that will actually not work because the path will not be able to communicate uh, to the cluster. But this should not be working. So my local service is not talking to the cluster. So we can um, also try to do some changes. And here is like you might add logging or other things. So we have to wait for that path to compile and then we try again. It's not actually working and that's because sometimes the browser 
is casting things, so we'll do hard reload, useful trick, so see it's working. So if we want to stop this uh, interception, you do telepresence, leave content, and then you can do telepresence list to verify nothing is intercepting, and if you refresh our page, we should see this text go away. There you have it. To debug a service with environment variables is a bit more tricky. You open up the terminal to telepresence intercept the name of the service, the port where the service is exposed inside the cluster, and the environment variable file, the path to the file where you want telepresence to save all the variables that are made available to us. So let's see how this works in practice. We'll do uh, telepresence intercept API, the port number, and the environment variable file. So it's here, we can do telepresence list to verify that yes, the API is the only that's intercepting. Let's uh, open up this file to see what's made of available to us and it's all these fancy things so if we now refresh our page we are intercepting so we should not be able to talk with our cluster we will get uh, a timeout here meaning yeah the front end will not be able to connect to your local machine the API that should be running on the local machine so now we need to run after the local machine and also that will also not work because the local machine doesn't have the correct uh, environment variables to connect to the database so it will get a failure in connecting to MongoDB so if we look at the file that was sent to us it has some useful things so the, the things that we need, need for this service are Or these two here. So let's just stop this, it will not work. So let's uh, export this one. And this one. And then we will need uh, so we need this one, but we're gonna apply it to the server. Because my local machine is not able to connect to any local service with this name, it needs the IP address of the host. So now, if we run npm run dev, we should be able to connect to MongoDB and our application should be working inside the, the cluster. Crossing fingers! Mongo connected. Great. So let's yeah, just do this request again and we should not get 504. Correct. So we try the correct name. It's working. So to debug this service, we will just open up the code base and let's say like uh, we just change this to uh, Leah. Y and save it. And let's try it. It's compiling, and, and after that's done, and it's up and running again, we should be able to. Well, if we do Jacob again, we should do get incorrect. And Leah. And it's working. So, this is how you would uh, debug a complex service with environment variables. For tips and tricks, remember the browser hard refresh, clear cache. Sometimes your browser is holding on to stale assets and you might not get the latest changes from your local machine to your cluster. Another useful tip if you're not feeling that your uh, changes are loading into side of the cluster, try telepresence and install everything, telepresence list and try to see if it's intercepting, etc. Et do create scripts to load environment variables from uh, telepresence to, to your local environment. Uh, 
this will save you a lot of time and other developers that are working with you so, th so that's it for this video i hope you liked it i will see you in the next video